In this module, we will talk about the development of the inoculum for industrial fermentation. In our previous module, we talk about the process organism isolation, screening, identification, and improvement. So in the next step, for the industrial fermentation, the main focus is the inoculum because which we called as the starter organism, we have to add the organism into the medium after proper sterilization process. That have to multiply, that have to mass culture. So in order to reduce the fermentation time and having a better productivity, we have a best suited level of uh, the inoculum. Inoculum, in other words, called as the seed. So, inoculum development or the seed development or a seed production is very important in fermentation process. So, when we say the inoculum development, it means in some cases when we deal with the fermentation, that only to reduce the lag phase depend upon the fermentation process and the product in which that phase in which phase that is produced either that produced in a log phase or in a stationary phase or in a decline phase then the inoculum importance is very critical so just to minimize the stage lag stage or a log stage then we have to be properly develop the inoculum so it is very essential that the culture used to inoculate a fermentation that should satisfy the following criteria. First of all, it must be in a healthy and active state, thus minimizing the length of the lag phase. As I have already told you, that just to minimize the lag phase in subsequent fermentation. So the inoculum should be healthy and very active. And the second one, it must be available in sufficient large volume to provide an inoculum of optimum size. If we take the example from the normal life, if we have only a one seed and we are going to uh, cultivate a one acre land, so it means what is the role of one seed in a one acre? So before to cultivate a one acre land, we have a proper size of the seed. So, the second point is directly related to that object. So, we have a sufficient and large amount of the volume that according to the capacity and the volume of the fermenter. So, as concerned the third, it must be in a suitable morphological form. Sometimes, if there is a spore inoculum is required, we should produce the spores first and then if we need uh, the vegetative form of the morphology and then we have to develop uh, the morphological form and that stage of the vegetative cells when that is suitable. So as concerned the third criteria that the morphological form is very critical. Next criteria it must be free from contamination. We focus this point while talking about the sterilization process. So, if there will be a contamination in the inoculum, then the whole process of the fermentation will be disturbed. We cannot hope a better and quality products. So, it should be necessarily that our inoculum should be pure and free from any sort of contamination. As concerned the fifth criteria, it must retain its product forming capabilities. Sometimes, when we use the process organisms from the preserved stock or a storage stock, sometimes they lose their production ability. So we have to develop, we have to reculture, reinstate of that organism in order to have that uh, capacity of the product formation. So these are the five point criteria which an inoculum has to meet then we can uh, hope for a better production. As concerned the quantity of the inoculum normally used is between 3 and 3 to 4, 10 percent of the medium volume. 
as concern the percent here there should be very clear that should be volume over volume or weight over volume sometimes it will be a wet mass either sometimes it will be calculated as a dry mass so the a relatively large inoculum volume is used to minimize the length of the log phase and to generate the maximum biomass in the production fermenter in a short time of as possible thus increasing the vessel productivity so thus starting from a stock culture the inoculum must be built up in a number of stages to produce the sufficient biomass to inoculate the production stage fermenter so this may involve the two or three stages in shake flask one to three stage in a fermenter depending on the size of the ultimate vessel so we have to multiply 1 is to 10 and 10 is to 100 and 100 into 10000 so multiplication of the 10 we have to develop uh, the inoculum so throughout this procedure there is a risk of contamination and the stain degeneration so the necessitating the stringent quality control procedures is required in inoculum development so the greater the number of the stage between the master culture and the production fermenter the greater the risk of contamination so and the stain degeneration therefore a compromise may be reached regarding the size of the inoculum sometimes we use less inoculum size just to avoid the risk of contamination and stain degeneration another factor to be considered in the determination of the inoculum volume is the economics of the process if we have a multi step then there will be a more uh, cost is involved so a seed fermenter 10% of the size of the production of the fermenter represent the considerable financial investment and must be justified in term of productivity as you know that while we are uh, classify the fermentation process into lab scale pilot scale and industrial scale at that time uh, we mentioned that when we talk about the lab scale only the slant culture or a flask culture is just required for an inoculum but when we go beyond the pilot scale and we are dealing with the industrial scale then we have to use the fermenter which we called as seed fermenter just to develop the inoculum so a large scale continuous fermentation for the production of biomass would be expected to operate a steady state in excess of 100 days so thus the number of times that the fermenter inoculated should be very few compared with the batch or a fed bar system so in such circumstances it may be more economic to compromise on the size of the inoculum and to tolerate the relatively length period of growth up to maximum biomass then to invest a large seed vessel which would be used on a very few occasions so this is very particularly relevant for the biomass continuous process where one very large fermenter may be used or thus any seed vessels would only be serving the one production vessel so all the time when we are dealing with the industrial scale fermentation then the seed fermenter is required just to keep uh, to maintain the requirement of that uh, bigger production vessel or of production fermenter